some news for you today because the Yankees made multiple signings today. Four confirmed and one that is kind of rumored. So let's get right into the news. Um, first, all these are minor league deals. Um, if you might know, major league deals are not able to happen because of the strike. So all of these are minor league deals here. Just wanted to let you know that and have it as a quick preface here. The first move is that the Yankees signed Wilkerman Garcia to a minor league deal. Now, Garcia was actually in the Yankee system. Hasn't played since 2019. He's a switch hitting second baseman slash shortstop. So, I need a little bit of depth there. Next, we signed Blake Herkins to a, another minor league deal. He's a center fielder, switch hitting center fielder. He was with the Kansas City Royals. And he's 24 years old. In double A, he hit 202 with a 319 on base percentage, 332 slugging for an OPS of 651. He also stole nine bases, only getting caught two times. I like this because we're getting more depth here. So the Yankees can do. We can get more depth in minor league signings, and this helps us get a little more outfield depth. Next, we signed Vinny Nitoli. I might be pronouncing that right wrong. Um, he's a pitcher, pitched with the Seattle Mariners. In 2020, he only threw one inning and was not good. He gave up two earned runs, but it's been okay in the minors. Um, in 2021, in AAA with Seattle, he put up a 5.05 ERA with a, in 41 innings. But he struck out an impressive 11.2 batters per nine, so only 2.2 walks per nine. So I think that if he, he has a lot of potential there, some good whiff stuff, good control. He's a nice guy who we might see come up as a long relief pitcher or spot starter. Now the big news, the one that you came here for, he signed Ender and Coyarte to a minor league deal. Now, he hasn't been that good since 2019, I would say. I mean, he put up a negative war in 2021 in only 52 games and hit below 200 in 2022 and 2020. But he used to be a very solid player. You know, back at his prime, he was a guy who would steal around 20 bases. He wouldn't hit you many home runs, but he would hit you hit around 300 and win gold gloves. He won three of them. Also made an all-star appearance. This is a good move. We're getting great depth. If outfielders go down, if we have Gallo and Stanton go down, or say Hicks isn't healthy to start the season, he's a guy that we could add to the 40-man roster, and just like that, we have a decent backup outfielder. It also addresses the speed issue that this team has, where our fastest players are all gone. We have another really fast player here. The bat isn't that good, but again, three gold gloves. And you can look at the metrics. He still has elite defense in his bones. So those are the moves for today. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you next time.